Hello, Brian Hogg here from Event Calendar Newsletter. And in this quick video, I'm going to show you how you can take the events from your WordPress site and set up an automatic email campaign. This will avoid copying and pasting the details of your events into newsletters, which is often error prone and obviously pretty time consuming. So I'm setting up a new community site. This is for events that are happening locally in the area. I'm using the events manager plugin but there's a bunch of other calendars that you can use, including the events calendar by Modern Tribe. I've got a bunch of events added already, and I've also added a email signup list so people can sign up to my MailChimp email list. I've got another video, which I'll link below, that shows you how you can set this up using the free MailChimp for WordPress plugin, and also the Boxzilla plugin if you wanna make it in a pop-up. And once those are set up, you can have people signing up to your email list on your website. So now what I wanna do is send a reminder every Friday afternoon, people are kind of wrapping up for work, and I wanna remind them of the events that are happening this coming weekend, next week, and also that next weekend, just so they can kind of plan ahead. So to do this, I'm gonna log into my WordPress admin. I'm going to go to plugins, add new. I'm going to select upload a plugin, and upload the event calendar newsletter, and then activate that plugin. And I need to enter my license key, which you get in the email when you purchase. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Now that's activated, I can go to Event Calendar Newsletter. And you can see it already found the Events Manager Calendar plugin, which I'm using. And I can now pick how far in the future I want to pull events from. So I'm thinking about 10 days. So I'll send it on Friday afternoon. And I want to include the events from that weekend, the next week, and also that following weekend. So it's a good kind of time frame to remind people of what events are coming up. You could filter by categories and there's some advanced setup you can do so people only get the categories that they want or are interested in. But for now, I'm just gonna leave it unchecked so that they'll get all the events that are upcoming in Galt in the next 10 days. We could add some header and footer text if we want. We could group the events by day, which I'll actually do. That'll just add a little header at the top making it easy to see the events that are happening on a certain day at a glance. And then I can pick a design and there's the default of design, which will show a picture if there is one. There's a minimal compact, which is just a single row with the date and details. It's also another single row with a button at the end. And then you can also use custom and then add in whatever details of the events that you wanna add in to your emails. So I'm just gonna pick the default and hit generate newsletter formatted events. So you can see here, it's groups by day. We've got the date here, the title, and a link for more information. You can see here, we've got June 17th, and it's showing both this event that's happening and this one. And it makes it easy for them to see the details of the events at a glance. So once you've hit generate, you can now save it as a template, and I need to do this for MailChimp to be able to grab these events. So I'll just call it something like events next 10 days, hit save. And now if I go and view those saved templates, you can see here we've got the template saved. I'm also going to set this to today's date so that MailChimp will always see it as a new event. Now all I need to do is go into MailChimp, hit create campaign, type RSS in the search box here, and pick share blog updates. It's not a blog, we're sharing events, but it's essentially the same thing to MailChimp. I'm gonna call this weekly event reminders. I'm gonna pick my Galt events list that I created before. And I'm gonna go back and grab this feed URL, which is what MailChimp will need to see that there are new events. Cause we don't want an email to send, especially if you don't have a lot of events, you don't want a blank email to send saying there's no events. You just wanna send them when there are some events in the next 10 days. So now I'm gonna pick every week. I want it to send out on Friday. I wanna send it out kinda of in the afternoon, 1 p.m. They're coming back from lunch. They're kinda of winding down for the weekend. I can also check this box to resize any larger images that are in the template. I'll hit next. I'll pick that I want it to go to the entire list. I can change the subject to something like upcoming events for Galt, uncheck or check whatever tracking I want to add in. I don't really need e-commerce tracking, so we'll do that. Hit next. 
Now we can pick a layout. So you could do a fancier layout if you want, but I'm just gonna pick simple text. And now I wanna get rid of what's there. Or I could even uh, just put a title up here, say Galt Events. Could drag in an image if I wanted and pop that there, but I'll leave it for now. And I'm gonna get rid of this default content. And I'm gonna paste in the MailChimp merge tags is what they're called. And MailChimp will see this and then replace it with the events that I have. This is from the documentation on setting up a subscription, which is what we're doing. And you also have the option in Event Calendar News that are these MailChimp merge tags. And this is if you want to add your events to an existing campaign. Maybe you've got your blog posts and you want to have the events in there as well and news and whatever else. You can use these MailChimp merge tags. But if you're creating a RSS campaign based on your events, you really want to use this RSS items one instead. So this is RSS items, adding the full content, and then ending it. And again, you can copy and paste that right from the documentation. Now, if I do a preview and test, we can see that this is actually pulling in the events from our site with links for more information, and they can view that and away they go. Again, you can customize this or use one of the other designs if you'd like. I can now send a test email to myself to make sure that it looks how I want on mobile or on whatever desktop client. And finally, hit next. And assuming you're all set, you can just hit start RSS, start campaign. So that's it. Now all I need to do is add the events to my site into Events Manager. Again, it supports a bunch of different other calendars, like Simple Calendar for Google Events, Timely, the Events Calendar by Modern Tribe. And once they're added to my calendar on my WordPress site, Event Calendar Newsletter and MailChimp will just automatically send them out every week. You can even set up a second email, say to remind of events that are coming the next day, the next two days, as an additional reminder, depending on how you'd like to set it up. You can grab a copy of Event Calendar Newsletter over on eventcalendarnewsletter.com.